USA 17, the prime round, our America's Cup winner from 2010, is uh, finally on her final leg of her life here in San Francisco. So the boat's going to the Oracle headquarters in Redwood Shores. It's the boat that won the America's Cup in Valencia, Spain in 2010, and it's been sitting here for four years now. I think it was an important yacht for all of us at Oracle Team USA. We were really pushing the edge of the envelope with this boat, with this design, and the big development with this boat, of course, was the wing, and, and that really fast-tracked you know, where we are today with the 72s and, and ultimately the new design. Oracle uh, contributed a, a huge amount of technology in that data logging uh, space. I mean, we were really in the unknown territory with this boat. We had to collect data fast, we had to be able to access it quickly, real time on the boat, real time on the chase boat, and then after we finished sailing, just to make sure that the, uh, the loads were in the expected ranges, the boat was performing, and really get everything out of it. It's a big project. Um, essentially, the operation consists of uh, moving the boat from where it was stored to the water today, which is two lifts with that big crane. Uh, tomorrow we'll put the mast in. On Friday we tow the boat down to the other side of the San Mateo Bridge. And Saturday morning we have the Ericsson air crane picking up the boat and lifting it over the Oracle headquarters into that lake. A uh, big boat, big challenges, but great crew, you know. We always pulled it off, so it's gonna work. What we have here is a, it's an Ericsson S64F sky crane. It's 88 feet long, 72 feet wide. It's got about 9,600 shaft horsepower, and um, it's designed to pick up heavy stuff. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start climbing up. We're flying something that's supposed to be sailed, so you just have an assumption on what you think is going to happen. So we put a lot of time and effort into getting proper rigging, proper chutes. You know, we, um, we just don't want to sling something around there and not know what's going on. Better be ready. Here it in the water finally. But you gotta remember, this is just the first part of this project. Now we gotta pick it up with the big sheety crane, you know, and lift the hull onto the piers. And then there's a third part, which is stepping the big mast into the boat. Well, it really was a change the hull of yachting, in my opinion. The technology that was brought to bear, wing sails, uh, huge loads, huge boat, going extremely fast, paved the way for the new America's Cup that's going to become an incredible historical uh, artifact uh, that everybody can see who's driving in the area. It's going to be quite spectacular with the big mast stepped in the boat. It'll be visible for uh, you know miles and miles around. It's great.